Sada South Fulton County community are just fed up. They say criminals are targeting their neighborhood and now residents, well, they're coming together to fight back. Fox 5's Nathalie Pozo continues our team coverage tonight. She is live now with what people are hoping to accomplish out there. Nathalie? Well, Constance, the residents I spoke to tonight are just sick and tired of the crime in their neighborhood. As some residents tell me they're scared to do what you should normally be able to do in a neighborhood, like jogging. And tonight, they're taking matters into their own hands. Unacceptable. Judges, lawyers, do your job. Residents like Donald Wooten are fed up. He had his car stolen right from his driveway in the Sandtown community in South Fulton County. Now there comes a time when you got to put foolishness to the side and use common sense. If you know this person has done this, I don't care about what age he is and back and forth. Get it. Now this community is fighting back. They called an emergency meeting after they say crime has escalated in their neighborhood. It's like we can't live peacefully in our own neighborhood without someone targeting us. Delphine Nath is the neighborhood watch coordinator who organized the meeting. She says the area has seen home break-ins, carjackings, a drive-by shooting, and even a woman who had a shotgun pointed at her while thieves took her belongings. And take a look at this surveillance video. Neighbors say what appears to be a teenager hops out of a car, runs to a red vehicle to check if it's unlocked, then runs next door before getting back in the car and taking off. You come into a community where you feel like you can kind of come home relax and not have to worry about you know the next gunshot or someone trying to steal your property that you've earned. Residents are hoping to install cameras, get more lighting and really get the community involved. Create like a group that can do street monitoring you know for us to know you know maybe take a couple of shifts where we know what's going on in the neighborhood and then we can alert each other. Residents say they just want to be able to enjoy their neighborhood without fear. Be able to run, jog, use the tennis court, use the gazebo without feeling like we got to be chased out of things that we're paying for. And residents say they also want to work with law enforcement. They understand that they are their eyes and ears as to what's going on in their community. This is a work in progress, and they hope to continue to meet to see what they can do to reduce crime in their area. Reporting live tonight in South Fulton County, Nathalie Pozo, Fox 5 News. All right, Nathalie, thanks so much. And, of course, filling up at Fulton County has proven to be rather risky. Well, customers at gas stations across the area are being targeted in carjackings and robberies. But now, one Union City Quick Trip station has made a move to protect its customers by hiring security to keep watch of the property. This is our main gas spot, and we like it. Yeah. But there has been um, extra personnel walking around, and like the police officers are always parked here, and right, okay. Union City. So I mean, it's pretty good. In addition to the new task force, a Quick Trip spokesperson says that Quick Trip monitors their locations 24 hours a day with cameras that have 360 degree views. Gas station officials say this allows them to see everything that goes on inside and outside the store.